Guys, welcome back to the test rover automation. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so uh, today's concept is to how to load the fixture and how to create this object dynamically. Okay, we are actually creating this object. So whenever you are running some sort of test cases, uh, it is actually in runtime. All the objects are created. So instead of doing this, only the uh, what will happen here now? Only when we need at that time only the object will be created so that is called as uh, dynamically loading all the objects and fixture okay so just for a prerequisite guys what i have done i have just created one particular file under the fixtures which is pages.js okay and what i have done i have just given this two statement which is star export star from uh, ecom uh, login abg uh, object class and uh, export star from uh, change name right okay and in the fixture column can you see this is lots of coding so tomorrow there will be a lots of boilerplate plate code over here so instead of like re, uh, adding all this code over here how can we overcome from it let's see it guys so i will say import what i want to import i want to import the star what i want to import star as pages right i can say pages from where i want to import uh, from where where is my uh, star uh, pages in the pages file right so this is the way we imported the pages now let access all these ecom login page and ecom change page okay so how we can access those things so uh, we can use the object destructuring here so i will say const okay <clears throat> all right and I will say this is a com login page over here. I was just going to put it over here, comma, and what change page. So I can put it over the change page also over here, right? And so after putting this, I don't need these two import statement now. And my only one particular import statement will be import pages from pages, right? And I can list this as pages, right? So in this way, we reduce that import so we are not going to import lots of uh, classes and everything over here so instead of that we're just going to import uh, star as pages and we just can add number of classes over here so whatever class we want tomorrow we will create another class over here in this uh, pages section right then we can call it over here right um, what else actually look this is also something we are creating the object right so let's handle this as a dynamic handle this in a dynamic way so can i create one particular function for this one so i can say const uh, this is a test uh, test or create test function so what this function will be uh, uh, will have a particular so yes can you see guys what is we are what okay this will be expecting one particular page class right so we, i can give in a bracket say uh, page class okay and how are we going to use this particular page class <clears throat> right so okay how are we going to use this particular page class so i will say this page class will be async sorry async right and in this async i think uh, yes async one second okay i have to do this so over here right async what async i need a page here right so i will say i need a page okay and also one use block right okay so as this is an unsynchronized function now so i have to give another arrow and in curly braces i can just give this logic right so i have given this logic okay so guys uh to give uh i have to give one logic to this particular taste uh, function right uh what goes to page guys oh yes uh this should be an asynchronized so yes there will be an arrow over here Sorry, my bad, guys. Uh, so, how we can 
load the uh, logic. So what we are expecting here, one particular, um, so yes, can I just give this one, copy this over here from here, okay, and put it here. And instead of this, can I just add, say, new page, sorry, page class, okay, and inside there I have to pass the page. Okay, so we have already, we have now created our test function, right? Now, let's see how to use this. One. Okay, okay, so how we can uh, use this uh, create test function? Okay, so can we do something like this way? So I can, I don't need all these things instead of this. I'm just going to remove everything from here. And can I use this create test function? And this test function is expecting what? When ecom login page, right? And I can also remove everything from here. Okay. And I can create another say create test function. And here I will gonna load the ecom change page, right? So guys, look, we reduce lots of code over here. So all of our boilerplates has gone and we are easily loading everything dynamically. So whenever we are calling this test creation function over here, at that time our object will be created in runtime. How? Because we are I'm passing new page class as a page over here, right? So this uh, create test function is expecting one particular page class, right? That's why I'm putting here the ecom login page and ecom change page. I hope you guys understood this one. And if you are run into any other issue or problem, let me know in the comment section. I will help you. Thank you. And let's see whether this is running fine or not. So let's go to the our feature file. Okay. And uh, change name feature is there. Uh, I don't want to run any tag now. I have to run everything together. And in uh, what do we have in environment feature, we have this only, right? So <clears throat> I don't want to run the only, but I want I don't want to run either this particular feature file. How I can do this? I can use the skip statement, right? I can use the skip, say skip this particular feature. I don't need this uh, feature because uh, guys, this is completely a different thing which we uh, did in our last video like uh, dev, prod, and QA environment. So that's why we use this particular feature file just to showcase you guys. So we, we don't need to run this particular feature file. If I will run, it will give me an error saying like uh, the URL is not un, uh, is undefined or uh, the things is undefined, right? Okay, I hope you understand. So now let's go to the terminal, new terminal. <clears throat> and if you can see guys, if I go to my package.json file, this is the command, right? So the test npm run vdd chain and uh, npm run playwright test. Okay. So let's run just this command npm run test. Okay. Before that, what we can do, just uh, put a, to showcase you guys, I'm just going to. And we can also run one particular command to just uh, every time. So we can do a cleanup as well as we can do that one as well. So let's just run for this one. Okay. So this is going to generate all the BDD files, right? And everything is working fine. Yeah. Okay. And with the meantime, it will generate two spec, all the spec files, two spec files, right? Okay. So it didn't, uh, so it smartly skip that particular environment feature saying like this is the skip and it just run the seven test cases using the four workers. Okay. All right, guys. So, guys, this is the beauty of dynamically loading all the picture, right? And creating the object of the page classes. Right? And look, everything got passed within like 27 test cases run. And we got only uh, 24 seconds. We ran all the seven test cases. And if I just go and show report. So, everything is working fine. I didn't check touch anything on my any of the step file or feature file I just uh, did some dynamic loading into that one and everything is running fine look 
okay nothing is breaking so okay so let's just do a recap over here what we did is uh, right so we we were actually having this particular import statement so we reduce all the import statement then uh, we create uh, we imported uh, all the page classes uh, with the object restructuring and we created this particular test uh, function which will uh, create the object in runtime okay and so we reduce all the boilerplate code as well as we uh, made, make our our uh, project more efficient right so guys and what else we did is uh, we also look into this particular environment feature and how to skip the particular feature if we don't want to run it okay so guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please comment subscribe uh, and press that bell icon and if you want to know something please comment guys just thank you bye <music>